Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, so in the last video we talked about how we were going to make our wrapper. Uh, even though we set up the HTML tags for our index.html file, there's no CSS. So, And if I'm kind of jumping the gun on the whole CSS and div tags and ID and class and stuff like that, you might want to watch my intro to HTML, XHTML, and CSS video. But if you're not having a hard time keeping up with me and seeing where I'm at and where I'm going, then hey, more power to you. So, in this video, what I'm going to do is we're going to create some CSS3 for our wrapper. And since we called it wrapper, we need to uh, address it in our CSS files. So, a little quick rundown. Since we called it div ID, how you call an ID in your CSS is the pound sign or the hashtag. And we'll call it wrapper. And let's give it opening braces and closing braces. Okay, so what do we want? Okay, so if we were doing regular CSS, we would do something like this. We do width, maybe 900 pixels. Let's talk about margin. And we will say zero pixels by maybe auto. And what this means right now, so for our margin, this is the CSS property that, let me go back to, where's our localhost file? Look at me, wasting everybody's time. Look at this. You guys got lives to live, and I'm blowing it. Let's open this up. There it is. Okay, so the margin right now is talking about the inside of the padding, which is pretty much opposite of the CSS property padding. So what we're talking about right now is this is our wrapper so far. Well, kind of not really. You'll see what I'm talking about in a second. What we're trying to do is we're trying to separate it from the outside of our browser window, from the left side, the right side, the top, as well as the bottom. So how we do this is if we were to have, in any CSS, if you were to do 25 pixels, we'll save it, let's reload this. All that did was separate this 25 pixels from each side, 25 pixels from the left, 25 pixels from the right, uh, or from the top, I'm sorry, 25 pixels from the right and 25 pixels for the bottom. So put it right there. Well, a little quick rundown. You could either do it like this. You could do 50 pixels, 45 pixels, 35 pixels, 10 pixels. CSS, or the browser reads CSS in this order, from left to right. Top, right, bottom, left. So anytime you see four uh, pixels or percentages, you know that this is the top. It's it's completely or it's clockwork. Top, right, bottom, left. So let's reload this, and this should now be 50 pixels from the top. There it is. Okay, and it's only what from the left, but it's all jacked up. So there's a certain way we could change the CSS that makes it perfectly fit right in the middle of the screen. And what we're gonna do is for our margin, we're gonna have px and if you have auto what this represents right here is the top and bottom and what this represents right here is the left and right so from the top if you have 50 px this refers to top right bottom and left if you have 4 50 px 25 px 15 px and 10 px it refers to every dimension from the top from the right from the bottom from the left and if you have 2 what do we have it at? We had it at 0px and auto. The first one represents the top and the bottom, and the second one represents the left and the right. And the left and the right, I want to set it to auto, because I want it to be equally as distant from the left side over here as I do the right side over here. So let's save this, and let's reload it. Okay, but our we're missing something. We're missing a background color for inside of our wrapper. Background, nope, not background image, background color. And we'll just have this set to white. Let's reload it. There it is. And don't be confused that, um, you know, our our wrapper is perfect in width, but look at the height. What's all the stuff down here? It's just like this because there's no content. The more content that we have, the more it'll push this white all the way down to the bottom. So we're okay right now. We're actually really okay. But since this is HTML5, what we need to do is we need to change this from 900 pixels 
to a percentage is, and that's kind of a big hint. A lot of HTML5, CSS3 is just changing it from pixels to percentages. I'll show, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna save this. Let's reload it. Now grab your corner of your browser and now move this in. You see how the wrapper and width is staying the same dimension? Well, it's gonna look different on like a smartphone or a tablet or something. So what we need to do is change this to percentage, but we're not doing 900%. Let's do maybe like 75%. Let's save it. Now let's reload it. It's going to adjust a little bit. Okay, it's a little bit bigger. But now grab the outside of your browser and move it, and you'll see that this up here adjusts with the browser, however big the browser is. See how it's moving with it now? See that? Well, guys, that's CSS3. We just created our wrapper. So make sure you guys have this correct code right here. This correct HTML code right here, and uh, we're all on the same page. All right, guys, good luck. I'll see you in the next video.